While we're talking basketball, you see San Diego's having its big spirit night Thursday. That's tomorrow. And here to talk more about it is the AD and a pair of athletes. Earl Edwards, welcome back to our KSI Airwaves. Would you like to introduce your two youngsters? Yes, Two sir. young athletes, excuse me. <laughs> I'd like to introduce uh, Michaela Williams, who's on, obviously on our women's team, and Chris Hansen on our men's team. Welcome one and all. Let's, for, for review purposes, what is Spirit Night and why is it so special to UC San Diego? Well, Spirit Night is a tradition that started in the 80s and Basically, what we do is to get as many students into the arena to support both our men's and women's basketball teams that are having outstanding seasons so far. All right. So, uh, young athletes, you're at an institution where you're having great basketball success. Both the men's and women's teams are nationally ranked, but it's also an academic institution. Please review with everybody your majors and what colleges you are attending in, on, on the campus. Um, so I'm actually a double major, public health and global health now, and I have a minor in business, and I'm in ERC. And I'm a management science major in sixth college. With all due respect to the men's team, it's the women's team that's really lighting up. Michaela, take a bow and explain why you guys are so good. Uh, well, we are 17-0, like you're saying. We're second in the nation as of recent. We've just, we've really been focusing on coming together as a team, even when we're having struggling. I mean, we went against Sam Marcos into double overtime. We're just... Focusing on our defense and wanting all of our wins, just keep pushing ahead. Uh, Chris, as good as, let's just throw this graphic up. Uh, look at the the majors of your team. I, I think we have it. Can you talk a little bit about how smart everybody is on your roster and where they're going to school or what what they're all studying? I mean, going to UC San Diego, you're going to get a bunch of smart kids. But you know, being on the basketball team and being a part of that is it's been amazing and. You know, you, you can always account, uh, you know, for some of your teammates for help, uh, you know, in, in whatever you're doing. So, is the argument yeah. who carries the most class, uh, classes, the class load? Uh, well, you kind of fight for that 4.0 spot, and, uh, you know, I'm not in that conversation, but, you know, I try to be. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Edwards? Yes. Earl? Uh, can you update us on the, uh, on the pursuit of D1 status? Well, the pursuit of D1 status uh, will be the fall of 2020, so it's getting close. This will be our next to the last spirit night. So fall of 2020 will be Division One, and a member of the Big West Conference. Oh, next to last spirit night, why is that? Because in 2020, so this is 19, and then the winter of 2020 will be our next spirit night. And that will oh, be the last I, one all right. before we're Division One. I get it. All right. So and we, we, can, we have to acknowledge, uh, Chris, you have all the fine athletes, good study, you, you manage your time well. All these characteristics that would make up a great Eagle Scout, which just happens to be you were an Eagle Scout. Tell us about how those skills you learned as a youngster helped you as a young adult. Uh, I think time management is huge. I mean, being an Eagle Scout, uh, you know, comes with a lot of, um, you know, skills that I've learned over the years. And, and I feel like, you know, time management is one, like I said. And, and just kind of attacking every day and trying to improve myself is something that I've taken away from that. Could, could you expand on that, Michaela? Uh, the importance of, because you can't go to your school, you can't sneak through on your athletic ability. You have to be a student first. Can you talk a little bit about how you budget your time? It's really just, you have to take it into account for yourself. The athletic program, they really help us. We have a lot of tutors available. But really for me, it's just talking to your professors, talking to your TAs ahead of time and trying to get be proactive, try to get things done ahead of All right, so because you guys... You're, you're professional test takers, right? I mean, that's part of what you have oh, to do. Yes. We thought we would uh, have this little exam. Oh, lovely. All right. Uh, just quickly, grab your boards. Here are your pens. Earl, could you pass these yes. out? Uh, we want to know how well you know each other's team. Oh, quickly, we're going to run the clock. You have 20 seconds. Name their starting five. You name her starting five. Oh, start the clock and start the music. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Uh, Dude! All right, show your boards. Show your boards. Oh, man. All right, and throw up the, all right so at least Michaela had three names. Uh, <laughs> the Eagle Scout is writing oh, so man. small, you need a microscope. <laughs> there are the starting fives. Oh, I got two. You didn't even get All right, so the, I got B. Yeah, uh, the Michaela, you win. You move to the head of the class. No, no, Before no. we let you go, the, uh, the everybody knows your campus for the for the watermelon drop. Why can't that be part of the uh, 
part of the spirit night? Well, right now it's a big tradition by uh, one of our colleges, and you know we, we talked about it earlier. I think it's something we should maybe talk about as far as being a part of spirit night. I like that concept. Whether there's other school or do it or not, I'm not sure. And the last thing I want to say is that our arena has been renovated, new scoreboard, production studios. This is the first time we're having spirit night in that uh, new arena, so come out and support us. One of the nicest facilities on the on campus. Earl, Michaela, Chris, thank you for coming all this way and spending time. We'll be there th uh, live Thursday night on Spirit Night at UC San Diego, one of the most beautiful campuses uh, here in town. Now, here's what we have cooking tonight on the ASR, big uh, girls soccer get-together, OLP taking on Cathedral. We'll have highlights from that as well as the other three events. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the KSI News at 6 p.m. We're going to have the Battle at the Bays conversation coming up at 6.45.